Chloe's, Chloe's special. I mean, honestly, it's um. Want to leave the room? Start. Don't start crying. I'm just gonna hide. Now, Chloe's amazing. Um, we met with a lot of different women. Um, I had a lot of meetings, a lot of readings. Um, Amy Pascal at Sony said, "Have you met Chloe?" And I was like, "No, nah, I never met her. You know, I knew her from Hugo's, you know, the little girl Hugo and stuff, and, and her other work." And I was thinking, how young is she? And she goes, yeah, you should meet her. She, she's special. And I was like, yeah, of course. I'd love to meet her. And then Chloe came over to the office and walked in the room. And immediately is something about Chloe. You know, when, she, when she comes in the room, I mean, as you can see, she's very, she's very poised and very uh, uh, confident. And were you 15 or 16 when you walked in the room? Uh, 15 when I walked in. So 15 years old, she walks in the room. She was very clear about her thoughts on the script and the material. We sat and talked for maybe an hour, hour and a half. I don't even remember how long. And uh, it was just, it was, it was very comfortable and easy. And you're talking about, you know, for me, talking to a 15-year-old about playing a prostitute. So it was a little uncomfortable, but she made it easy in the conversation. And then uh, I called Denzel. I said, do you know Chloe? He said, yeah, I know who she is. I said, you should meet her. You have time. You should come in and you know, read with her just to see how they feel with each other. Because, you know, you want to do that to make sure the chemistry's right. And immediately when she walked in the room and Denzel walked in the room, I was just, I just sat back in the corner and watched them just start to play and talk and laugh. And, and it was instant. Like, I could see the whole movie right there. And that's, that's special when you see that. And she's a pro. And not to put you on the spot now and, and vice versa or the other way, but, I mean, what, what did you think, like, you kind of mentioned this, too, before, but, I mean, what did you think of, like, you know, Antoine's directing style and stuff? Like, what surprised you, I guess, working with him? Um, honestly, what I think what was so beautiful about his approach to this film and my character in particular is that he took a girl where a lot of directors would have sexualized her and would have turned her into kind of this, you know what she is, a, a prostitute in a movie. And what he did and the way he approached it and the way I, I got this feeling from him in, the, uh, in our first meeting together is that he didn't want to use her in that way. He didn't want her you know, to show what she was doing when she walked outside of that diner. He wanted to see the young girl who wants to be the singer, the young girl who has a dream, who has a fire inside of her in that diner. And that hit me so hard because as a young girl in a business, I've felt, you know, like people have tried to sexualize me before at, you know, from the time I was 13 on. And I was always going like, oh my God, like what's, what's happening? And then when you step into a role like this, it's a very special role. And to put a girl at the real age of the character in a role is really iffy. Because you don't know how the audience is gonna respond, you don't know how anyone's gonna respond. And he took a huge risk casting me at 16. Uh, as Alina or Terry, and it just felt so real and not like I was just some plot device. 